Hey, what's up, folks? Thanks for tuning in to my talk show, Down to Earth with Day Day King. Uh, tonight we have a real special guest here with us, and uh, someone that definitely had an impact uh, on the rap industry itself, uh, coming out and blowing up the scene. Uh, I'd like for you to welcome with me uh, Nocturnal mm -hmm. to the show. Yeah, I know, How you doing, brother? I'm good. Uh, all right, all right. Good to have I'm you glad. here. Good to have That's you here. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so how things been going with you, Not? I'm good. I'm blessed. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, we're just going to go ahead and get into it. Yeah. We're gonna get in, go ahead and get into it. Um, I might, you know, ask some questions that, you know, ain't necessarily with the industry, but, you know, this, this is an interview, so it's whatever. We'll get it going. Uh, so for those that don't know, uh, people that don't know, um, where, where exactly did you grow up? Long Beach, California. Long Beach, California. Yeah. Okay. All right. Can you tell us a little bit about that, you know, coming up at that time or when you were a youngster? It was fun. Yeah. Uh, ride a bike to the beach, do what we got to do, go fishing off the pier. Yeah. Like a normal life, we thought. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so you go to those, those kids' houses and they get to... Uh, Tell their parents to shut up, and then they don't get beat for it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that don't happen where we come from. Right. Oh no. Stay out the refrigerator. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Stop eating no <all> cereal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Definitely. Okay. Well, uh, so I mean, are are you the only, the only child, or do you have nah. siblings? No, nah, I got five brothers. Five brothers. No sisters. Imagine that. Five brothers, no sisters. Oh, that was fun. Yeah, that, that, I'm in the middle. I usually have like try to figure out who to take up for. <laughs> the two older brothers, they always pick it on the younger brothers. Yeah, I was in the middle, so I was just like, okay, who's right? Yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna roll with them. I'm gonna roll with them. <laughs> I have to try to pick up the slack somewhere. I be feeling bad if my younger brothers, uh, older brothers, try to pick on. I'd be like, don't you realize I could do is pick up something and hit them with it? Right, right, and it'll stop. Even the score. <laughs> Now we're even. Now that you're dizzy, we can fight fair. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Well, that's cool. That's cool. I mean, definitely growing up in Long Beach, yeah. I, I'm very familiar with Long Beach and, and the way that the city is. And, uh, you know, the harbor area, you know, it's part yeah. of uh, Long One Beach. One thing I'm mad about about Long Beach, though. Yeah. They took the Spruce Goose away. It used to be by the Queen Mary. Well, they redid the pike. That was good. Right, right, right. But they took the Spruce Goose away. For those who don't know, the Queen Mary is the main attraction for Long Beach, and then the Spruce Goose was a warship. Right. That was an actual war. But um, they're talking about they were going to remodel it. They never brought it back. It's sitting in some museum somewhere. Yeah. yeah. They said they're going to remodel it, yeah, and just don't bring even bring it back. It back. Yeah, well, That's yeah. like somebody borrows your shoes. And now they're like, hey, just go to the aquarium. Back. Just go to the, <laughs> you can pet the sharks. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, who wants to do that? Well, they still got the Queen Mary. Yeah, they do. But they made it into like a resort in a hotel. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. and they, they got shows over there too. It still starts. Does it? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. They be having a fireworks show over there. Yeah. It's yeah. pretty cool. Okay. Reggae Fest. <laughs> right, the Bob Marty Fest, right? Yeah. 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 All right, so uh, what, can, can, can you tell me, at what age did you first decide that you was you was going to start rapping? What age did you start inspired to be a rap artist? Or just rapping, period? Well, my, my father did music. Mm -hmm. You know, he said he had a band or whatever when I was growing up. He used to do it in the garage. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so I guess music is in me. Mm -hmm. you know I mean? But um, tell us a little bit about that. Me, it was just fun growing up with him. I just go in the garage with him, and they be playing all the instruments, doing practicing. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Doing what they do. But it was fun. And my dad was fun. You know, he wasn't like most people that he was kind of pulled down to earth, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. He's still mean as hell, you know what I mean? Yeah. But, I mean yeah. Well, with that, you know, yeah, they right. all like that, yeah. Right, but he was cool, though. Right, He right. does his thing, he's basically down to earth. But, um, you know, he told me a very valuable thing, though, like, because uh, he could have got signed with Motown, but Motown didn't want the band. Mm -hmm. and, uh, so he told him, well, if you don't want the band, then you don't want me. Mm -hmm. So he was like, okay, well, see you later. So mm -hmm. He kind of missed the shot. Yeah. But one very important thing he told me was like, you know, what I didn't realize is I could have actually went and signed, put the music out, and then came back and got my band after I did mm -hmm. what I was supposed to do. Okay. Okay. You okay. know what I mean? So okay. that was a mistake that he made. You know, I, I had a lot of people along the way when I was first out rap, rapping and beginning rapping. It's like he always told me like, don't make that same mistake. Just go right. back the money and then turn around and come back and give back. Right. You know what I mean? 
It's like even now I got a lot of things, you know, that's, that's blessed me in my life right now, you know. One of them is like I got this, I'll get into it later, but I got this deal that just fell in my lap through Grace of God. It's, um, it's with uh, Wild Wearables and uh, Next Gen One. Okay. And uh, they're gonna make a care addition to my watch. You know, a guy named Cliff, he's really he's very he's very smart. He's, you said they're gonna they're gonna make a what? They have uh, a watch phone that they're making. Okay. okay. And they're gonna make a K edition of it. Oh, okay. Uh, this is the way that I'm gonna start selling my, my albums. Yeah. Through the K edition of the watch that nice. they make for me. Okay. You know what I mean? And okay. That's, that's a good thing. Yeah, you can go to uh, wildwearables.com or you can go to uh, what is that? Next One Gen dot com. E X One Gen. Like, you know what I mean? Next Gen One. I mean, but it's like a lot of things going on. Then I'm about to shoot the video for uh, it's a song called Wonderful. It's off my album called Enough Said. I got a video out called Blah 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 Blah. Mm -hmm. I'm familiar. I'm familiar. Yeah, it's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh it's man, hilarious. I like that. I like that. Like, well, it makes sense because the name of the album is Enough Said. So yeah. it was funny. Like it's creative. Yeah. For me to play the mime in the video. Right. 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 You know how to do something silly. Absolutely. Well, yeah, <laughs> but no. I mean, your, your videos. I've always liked. That's the thing I liked about your videos it's because nice. they've all had had yeah. it's it's touch of humor. Yeah, it's, you know, it's, it's always out of the norm, but it's still about the song. And it's yeah, just, you know, it's about the whole collage of every album that I make. Like even the way I am video and all that stuff. Like I make sure that I base it around the way it, you know my album. You know right, I mean? right, right, right. So enough said was pretty funny because that's the name of my album. And I didn't even say one word. Mm. And I just let the women say what they was gonna say and rap my stuff, so it was funny yeah. to me. Yeah, no, I liked it. I really liked it. Sometimes you gotta do what your mind tells you to do, and don't worry about if people like it or not. Either they gonna love it or they gonna not like it. Or they gonna so, not like it. Right. right. So, and I understand that. A lot of people try to straddle the fence. You give them a little bit of this, a little bit of that. Yeah. No, either you gonna love Nocturnal or you die. Right. Gotcha. You know, it's gotcha. Wrong. gotcha. Well, for those that haven't seen the video yet, uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at it now. Can we take a look at that now. All right, well, here it is. Blah, 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 blah. I'm not turning. Ah. Mike's so hot, I'm getting shocked by the headphones. <laughs> Straight up. We about to shut this whole place down. Yes. Because you know how I get down. They say knock, you fell off the mic. Blah, 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 blah. The way it translates to me is like blah, 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 blah. Everybody wanna be like blah, 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 blah. But everybody can't be like blah, 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 blah. All you internet critics go blah, 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 blah. And go back and tell your wife that blah, 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 blah. Keep on doing what you're doing. Just keep back and let them haters hate. I'm back. Game. I'm back to rain, I'm back to do this I'm back to be like Brutus Bluto in fact, pop pie on the map I got my spinach, nigga you can't get up in it I open cans with my bare hands, do this thing Open a can of whoop ass and ass whoopings of rain yeah. From the heavens above you have to see this shit go down Make your ass change your name to Mary to go round I got the whole world in my hands I got the whole wide world I'm like Abraham Lincoln with my nuts in my hand. We don't need you, nah. My fire's on demand. Shit, my son is four, my mom's calling man, man. Why in the hell you think they call me a real man? I got everything you want, everything you need. I always feel like somebody's watching me. They say not you fell off the mic. Blah, 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 blah. But in my ear it just sounds like blah, 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 blah. Everybody want to be like blah, 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 blah. But everybody can't be like blah, 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 blah. All you internet critics go blah, blah. Blah, blah, blah. And you're lying to my fans like blah, 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 blah. Keep on doing what you're doing. Just keep back and let them haters hate. And you're black, you're buried, you're sweet of the juice. And if you're talking bullshit, I put you in the caboose. Straight up. How you doing, girl? What's up, boo boo? I know you hard in the pain and put a neck in the noose. I ain't trying to be dead, I'm just trying the truth. There we go. Asking for more music for motherfucking hot turn off. We can do what you want in the back of the boat. Straight up. I pop my car, I do whatever I want to do. Up. I live my life, I do whatever I want to do. Up. I buy my dollar whenever I want to. Straight I buy my dollar whenever I want to. Straight up. You know I like it, but I can't wait for I'm like Lil Tank Tank. If it's a race, I'm fighting it. Leader of the pack, king of the new school. I got 12 inches, baby girl, I pull. They say knock you fell off the mic, blah, 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 but in my ear it just sounds like blah, 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 blah. everybody
everybody wanna be like blah, 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 blah. But everybody can't be like blah, 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 blah. All you internet critics go blah, 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 blah. And you're lying to my fans like blah, 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 blah. Keep on doing what you're doing Just be back and let them haters wait All right, so uh, man, gotta love that video. That video right there. We're I mean, at, at the end when you go into the pool. Yeah, baptized. Little, yeah. Little, 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 baptized. <laughs> Rebirth. Yes, Rebirth. sir. Yes, it's sir. Fun. Yeah, I love There's it. There's a lot of people out there, you know, on the West doing what they're supposed to do. That's about time for me to come back and have some fun too. That's right. You know I mean? That's right. That's right. And I, and I know a lot of people are happy to have you back too. Oh, indeed. You know, and I me, me being one of them. Well, yeah, yeah I, I appreciate all that. I appreciate the fans and the patience, but you know. I was out on the road doing a lot for a long time, and like, like my children barely had, you know, I used to miss birthdays, holidays, yeah. celebrations, I was just pushing, pushing, just pushing. Just being pushing. so busy. Yeah. yeah it was, it's fun though, but like, you know, it's, right. it's also work, mm -hmm. but at the same time, you know, I had to step back and keep my family together and make sure everything was right, you know what I mean? Because sure, If you sure. can't do that, number one, you, you're kind of like a preacher on the on the pulpit preaching bullshit. Like, it's just like, how right. you gonna tell me right. you gotta live my life what to do? You can't you ain't keep your right. family together. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I pride myself on trying to you know, have a lot of morals and stuff. I mean, earlier in the business, not so much. You know, kind of, yeah, it was yeah, what it was. Yeah, so. that yeah, day, yeah. it's a new day. Yeah. Strictly business, handle it, give the fans what they want. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Have fun. Well, let's talk a little bit about that because that's, that's very interesting. I mean, let, let's, let's get back to the time when Nocturnal, uh, at one point you were working, was it, were you working with Death Row or? No, Dre. It was just Dre. Yeah, yeah Dre. Period, just right. Yeah, After yeah. he left Death Row. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. How did that come about? Like, you know, can you explain how that even came about right there? Once again, more blessings. It's just, I was working with this guy named Mark Sparks, and, he, you know, he, he, he deals with like those neo soul type music. Okay. And my music really didn't fit him, and so he introduced me to a dude named Big D. Mm -hmm. Me and Big D created LA Confidential, and me and Big D. Ended up linking up with Mike Lynn and Larry Chapman and Dre and Kirks Tucker. Mm -hmm. And Dre liked what he heard, you know, and so Dre was like, man, I like it, so what, how you gonna do this? I was, you know, really, he helped build who LA Confidential was, and I wrote for him for a little while, you know, I was on The Chronic 2001. Mm -hmm. uh, I helped write a few songs on The Wash. Uh, it was just, like, at the same time, it's like a, it was like a give-give situation. Mm -hmm. We were both learning from each other, but I believe I learned a lot more from him because, like, I used to always have great hooks, right? But my verses weren't always strong enough. You okay. know what I mean, so I learned yeah. a lot about how to stop being so complicated where people couldn't really understand your point. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I learned yeah. how to shorten up the words and the syllables, okay, like, okay. so I could be understood. You know? Okay. Like, well, that I mean, that says a lot about you as an artist that you were didn't have such a big head nah. that you were able to sit back and, and learn from Drake. Yeah, those that know me, they, and those that are watching this that know me, you can look at whoever you're watching with me, they'll tell you the same thing. I'm a humble cat, mm -hmm. a down to earth cat. Just because Nocturnal is a, a character that I created for myself to make money and have mm -hmm. a career, it doesn't mean that that's who I am. Right. I'm Royal Harbor. Or you're not I'm, only I'm that. I'm a normal, yeah. yeah, I'm a normal person yeah. that got blessed to live out my life's dream, which is, to be entertaining, and that's what right. I do. Right. You know what I mean? Okay, yeah, so I mean, so so L.A. Confidential came first. Yeah. L.A. Confidential came first, mm -hmm. and you guys had, uh, I would say, mild success uh, with L.A. Confidential. Made, in four years, we made over probably about twenty-four million dollars. Okay. Twenty-four. Just off of just off of the EP and my album, the way I am. Okay. You know what I mean, all right. So, so about tw a little over twenty-four mil. Off the, the well, I would call it a success from a label from the ground up. Oh well, I mean, yeah. I, you know what? I, I didn't realize it had that much success. <laughs> okay, so let and me. I sold over fifty-six million albums globally. Right. Nominated for a Grammy, two Soul Train awards. Been on Soul Train, been on everything I can think of. Jimmy Kimmel Live. I've been around the world, seen yeah. all seven continents. Exactly. I'm tell, all over. Huh? T tell us a little bit of, about the transition of going from small time to now you're, you're standing on top of the world as far as rappers concerned. 
It wasn't hard for me. It's just more work because, like, you know, I don't get a big head. I'm not a big headed person. I just go where I'm supposed to go and do what I'm supposed to do. You know what I mean, and stay in contact with people. So it wasn't really hard. It was just really just more work. Like, you know, I didn't know how much work it really entailed from like interviews, you know, signings. You know, really, it was just. Let me get in the vocal booth, rap, hopefully it'll come out. But then, you know, you get down to the business side of it, it's, it's a lot of work. Like, even when you go on a tour from sun up to sundown, you're doing something. And then, really, you get most of your sleep when you're going from city to city. Then you got to wake up. Mm -hmm. You at the radio station, anywhere from 5 to 9, go do sound check, go do this, do mm -hmm. signings, go do magazines. Go, 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 yeah, then you do this by the time you do the show, you do the show, you get on a tour bus, move, you're going to nap out, go to sleep real quick. So it's easy to, to become exhausted. Oh yeah, basically on like anywhere from the six, any, anything six weeks and above, yeah, you're gonna get fatigued. You're gonna get fatigued. Yeah. Okay. And the best thing is when you're touring, is if, you, if you think about it, you start off at the other point and then make your last show be at home, so you don't have to do no more traveling. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> have it end, have it, have yeah. it end at home, huh? Yeah. How your people's gonna pick you up? Go chill. Have a blunt with you. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so uh, if you could, I mean, uh, tell me about uh, uh, some of the, the artists that you've worked with. Can you say, you know, some of the artists that you have uh, been able to, been blessed to work with? Too Short, of course, uh, DJ Quick, Dre, Ice Cube, at 10 E-40, Dub C, uh, Missy Elliott, uh, a lot of people, Little Mo, like, I mean, a bunch of people. Like, How was that working with Missy Elliott? She's fun. Is she as funny as, as, as she puts she out there to be? Her energy is fun. Her energy is fun. It's like, no matter what, it's like, I mean, stuff would be going completely wrong. And she, she, she don't let it bother her. She's yeah. just fun, you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, whatever, we'll get it done regardless. You know what yeah, mean? yeah. Like, I just like being around positive people, though, because I, I don't need negativity. I don't need bull crap. You know what I mean? I just I need to get that. my job done and keep, I heard keep that. going forward in my mission. Yeah. You know? Well, you know what, I know probably a lot of people wonder, and I know I've wondered, after watching your music video um, with Dre and Missy Elliott, uh, I believe the name of it is... The Knock. The Knock, yeah. yeah. So after seeing that, I mean, you had so many different roles yeah. in that video. You were the, you were the cook, yeah. you were the cashier, you were the pimp, yeah. you, you, you were the, the average Joe at the, at the diner just eating. I mean, how many takes did you guys have to do on that video? Well, that was like a three-day video shoot. <laughs> it was like, it got to the point where, like on the, some of the parts you see me sitting down at, like I just had on the top of what I was going to wear because they had to move the the wardrobe out of my trailer in the air because it was like, I was changing so much, having yeah. different scenes. Right. I think I played like, I think, in all 17 people in that video. <laughs> but like, I wanted to get like, different types of people. That's why I wore a bunch of different type of outfits. Like, gotcha. like you got the Chicago dude, the hat, yeah. like took to the side. Right, right. You know, right. You know what I mean? You got people from all over, the New York people, you know, you got people with beanies on. Mm -hmm. And in one scene, they got the two twins sitting there at the table. They yeah. both look alike, but they got the same stuff on. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, just a bunch of different things. Okay. You know I mean? Okay. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, we def I, mean I, I definitely wondered all the different things that went on in that video. It seemed like there was definitely a lot going on. And a three-day yeah, shoot is a long day. Yeah, it was long fun. Yeah, and, uh, the funniest part of that video, because you know I was fairly new when I did that video, was when Janet Jackson had walked through the videos. Uh, she when she walked by, she was like, "Hi, not." And I turned and looked. I was like, "Oh, hey!" And I didn't realize who she was. And I looked. And I, I paused. I was like, I looked at the director. I was like, "Was that Janet Jackson?" He's like, "Oh yeah." And I guess she was doing the Missy Elliott trailer. And I was yeah. like, shook like. Like that, that's a Jackson. How in the hell is Janet Jackson in yeah. my video? Yeah, and I know my name. Missy yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot that Missy Elliott. Oh, they were friends. You know I mean? Oh, okay, okay. She just showed up. I was like, wow. And Missy Elliott had a lot to do too with me getting with um, Time Warner and, and Sylvia Rome, mm -hmm. who distributed LA Confidential, which, which is a major deal. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Um, that was a good thing because after she heard some of my stuff, she told Sylvia Rome, like, you're going to sign him, right? She was like, oh, yeah, I was already trying to figure out how to do it. You yeah. know what I mean? So, yeah. Missy, she's down to earth. Yeah, okay. Well, shoot, there's all kinds of interesting things going on. I know. Yeah. Uh, you you've had several different songs in movies. Yeah, and you also had you had a major uh, song. I forget what the name of the Transporter? song. Is. Transporter. Transporter. Yeah, yeah, well, that was with Jason Strahan. The yeah. first trans Transporter movie. Yeah, that was that was fun too. He's a funny guy because uh, he actually wanted to come out here too. We filmed the video out here, but 
he wanted to come out here to do the video with me because I had the idea of just why don't we do the movie, do video like the movie is and have him transport me. Yeah. So he was like, that's a great idea. So that's how we did the video. Yeah. And I was the one in the trunk. How is he? Did he have an uh, uh, Australian accent or something like that? Uh, like an English, something like English. He's, yeah, he's, he's funny. Yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, there's just so many things that you've done. Music, movies, yeah. uh, you know, videos, yeah. and, you know. Writing. Writing, live shows, you know, yeah. you name it. Now, were you on, uh, what, what was one of the la largest tours that you've been on? And well, maybe in the, the crime tour, but that was like, just me being there and like doing one verse because I was on Bang Bang. It was still yeah. fun, but yeah, yeah. I was the only um, West Coast artist or artist outside of the South that uh, Ludacris invited me to the Chicken and Beer Tour. Okay, Chicken and me, Beer Tour. Me, Ludacris, DTP, David Banner, and me. And everybody out there, huh? Right, everybody, they was like, yeah, hey, it's getting hot. I guess but Ludacris is funny too, he's cool. Yeah. Yeah, down there. another down there was like, I mean, it's, all, it's always good to run across those, because you know, like, some people get on TV or whatever, get one hit, and they be like, oh, I'm a superstar. You're not a superstar. You got one hit. You just got one hit. Yeah. You know, you, yeah. When you got people talking about, like, yeah, I'm a legend, I'm this, I'm that. No, no. Yeah. You can't call yourself that. Yeah. You gotta let somebody else call you that. You gotta let it's somebody else like, give you that title. You can't just give it yeah, to yourself. It's like the old classic saying, like, man, let somebody else suck your dick. Yeah. Shit. Yeah, please. Yeah. <laughs> Get your ribs removed or something. Yeah. Like, can you reach it? Yeah. Somebody else, <laughs> suck, let somebody else suck your dick besides you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. What the fuck is your problem? <laughs> All right. Funny as hell. Yeah, well, you know, those, those, uh, so those events there, the chicken and beer tour, how, how was that? I mean, how many different cities did you guys go to? Uh, we went to, I believe, 30 cities. 30 cities yeah. throughout the U.S. That was fun. And those were just, I mean, uh, 10,000, 20,000 uh, capacity? It was at, it was at 20, anywhere from 20 to 30. Like, we did one at Michigan State um, at the college. It was like, that was packed too. Like, that was fun, though. I, it was good to see where Magic Johnson went to school at. Oh, know, Magic Johnson. Where he actually played at. That's where he went to college at. Michigan, Michigan State? State? Yeah. Oh, okay. So that was cool. And his son, uh, Andre Johnson, that gave me one of those Michigan and Les throwback shirts and gave me. So I wore his Magic Johnson shirt on. Like, it was, okay. was kind of fun. All right, all right. Well, um, is there anything else that, uh, you know, as far as, well, can you tell us a little bit about what you got going on? What, what does Nocturnal have set for the future here? What's, what's coming for Nocturnal? Well, I'm about to change the game. I don't know. Oh, I didn't even get to see it. That's horrible. This thing right yeah, here. Yeah, let's see that watch. The, yeah, the whole watch. I'm about to uh, come out with this watch, and it's going to be the K-Series, but it's like a, having an I-6 or an I-7 on your wrist. Okay. You could download over like wow, two million songs. It has every application that hmm. your phone could actually have. It's on your wrist. It's hands free. Does it light up or all of that? Just push aside. It's got a camera on it. Push aside on the bottom. Oh, okay. Right there, and you slide it over just like you would do your phone slider. You got all the applications right there. You slide wow. the application. So look at that. You can see it. It's got all the applications. All of the you can just slide it over like you your phone, but it's got a watch on it. Slide the application. What is that there? It's new technology, time. and that's how I'm gonna release my album. It's gonna be called the K, the, the K edition. Through so the watch. The watch is gonna be my edition. It's gonna come in gold and platinum. You put the platinum trim. It can come any color you want. It's gonna have my application on there to where my album comes on there when you purchase the watch. And <laughs> it's a fun watch. It does everything you need to do. So like I said, this is the future of music. Suddenly the world, you know, seems like a less complicated place. Well, you know what I mean. It, it, it's real interesting that you're 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 being really innovative with this idea because it seems like it has to take a lot more now for an artist to stay on top of the music industry than just Indeed. simply putting out music. Yeah, of course. You know, it's like you know, an, an artist has to be uh, quite a few different things, wear quite a few different hats now yeah. uh, to be up on. And, and like I say, it takes a very innovative person to even challenge this idea, like sure. uh, like you know, Cliff Henley did. Like he's a very intelligent guy. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? He's been, you know, he's been doing things innovatively for a while now, but he, I think he took it to the next level for, you know, people that love music or people that love business, anything. Like, this thing does whatever you want it to do. Yeah. Like, you yeah. can just program it. To just, you can just talk to it and tell it what to do. You don't even have to worry about it. Right. Like, and they also got speakers that come that got 500 feet range. And, and people walk away 
from it and go in your front yard and have a call and the party can still be going on out back. Okay. And the speakers okay. are on high quality and both speakers like. You know, and that would be Bluetooth. Oh, uh, just sitting wireless. There, you just, you, know, you play it from here, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. You just sync the speakers up to it. Okay. And you can, see, if you live by a liquor store, you can walk to the liquor store and come back. <laughs> <laughs> and it'll still be playing. <laughs> you know, go to the liquor store, grab a drink, right. come back, and the party's still going. And they also got their own, um, you know, service, you know what I mean, yeah. which is ROK service, you know, their, their satellites and everything set up. So, like, okay. they, it's just a, it's a big thing, you know what I mean? Okay. And so, like, this is the way I'm going to sell my album. Yeah. You know, try to be innovative about things. Right, right, and, right, uh, right. It's just, it's just a great deal for me all the way around the board. Okay. You got to do something different. Gotcha. And it's fun to be the first one to try it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Way. Absolutely. You know I mean? yeah. don't want to be on the late freight. No. <laughs> no, you got to be ahead of the game. Okay. And then I'm going to France. I'm going to be out there for a little while doing, doing my tour. My album, be this when they finish doing all the designs for the, for the K, K edition of this watch. Yeah. It's a smart watch. They, when they finish doing the design and stuff, then I'm going to release my album because then I'm going to go on a tour with them. Just releasing this, new signings and watch okay. giveaways and different stuff with radio okay. stations. And, yeah. You know what yeah. I mean? Okay. And that's... My website will be up in about three or four days, and then the watch itself will be completed maybe in about six weeks. Okay. So everything's looking up, and then Sony's gonna put a push behind it. Okay. And I'm shooting a new video called Wonderful. It's gonna be on MTV, uh, behind the scenes and all that. So mm -hmm. I mean, Javier and, and like the people that I got behind this, behind me for this album through Sony, Lamar Lagarde, uh, uh, Gary Clark. Oh, Gary. Yeah. yeah and, I know Gary. Um, okay. You know, like I said, Mr. Henley, Cliff Henley. Just being innovative and having his mind open to just new ideas is, is a great thing. Okay. And again, so it's nexgen1.com and wildwearables.com. You can check it out and see all the features and what the watch does. Nexgen1. So, and this is the way I'm setting my album, and you get a, a new song from my catalog underneath that you haven't heard every week that you can digitally download. It's all good. You have endless amounts of music, and with this, it changes the way artists can release their music, and they don't they don't have to get bootlegged. You know where the money's going and how it's going there. So it's, it's good for us. It's good for you. You get it first. All right, all right. Well, appreciate you coming, knock, Indeed. having you here on the show, blessing yes, us with your presence. Yes, all right. Indeed. And uh, like you said, at NEX Gen One, you can take a look at Knox's new uh, watch that he's got coming out. I saw it myself, and it's definitely the real deal. Uh, the new thing coming through. So uh, I'd like to thank you for tuning into my show. Again, Down to Earth with Day Day King. Uh, I'd like to, again, uh, appreciate you not for coming through and uh, gracing us with his presence. But make sure you tune in next week because, uh, you know, this is where we, get, where we do it and we'll be giving it to you live and get that new scoop on what's going down in the rap hip hop industry and music in general. Again, my name is Day Day King, and uh, stay tuned for our next episode. You know it's going to be hot.